Hey everybody, welcome. How you guys doing? I hope everyone is having a great start to the week. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing good. I had a good weekend. So today I want to talk about, um, so uh, you guys know about the uh, nerf to the Fury turrets. Uh, we're looking at a 10% reduction in damage. Um, and I just want to maybe, uh, you know, let you guys have you guys think about uh, how much you're going to invest in this guy if you are just getting him now. Because I think the 10% on the turret damage is not a whole lot. And I think there is going to be another nerf. A bigger nerf later so I just wanted to kind of throw that out there um, as well as the subduers um, actually let's look at the other screen let's look at this one the information screen as well as these things um, I think you guys know uh, that the where is it where is it that the tamer and the damper are getting huge nerfs. Uh, at least they're proposed right now on the Turret test server. I don't know what's going to happen once it hits the live server. But at the moment, uh, they're talking about reducing the range from 600 to 500, uh, changing the dispersion, making them less accurate, uh, reducing your rust uh, stacks, max stacks and uh changing up the interval the shot interval uh i think that means less particles i'm not exactly sure 100 percent what that means but um from 0.1 to 0.5 oh i think that's a time thing so you'll get fewer shots within the same amount of rate of fire i guess that maybe that's what i'm talking about um and so I would not be surprised, guys, if we don't see similar, maybe not as severe, uh, because I don't think this weapon is quite as strong, especially as the dampers. But I wouldn't be surprised if we see something of that nature happen to this weapon as well. And I'm going to jump into a game and I'm going to show you why as well as the fact that there are a lot of these running around right now. This has become a very popular robot. And with the nerf to the Ocho, uh, I think it's going to become even more popular. Some people have talked about the Dagon getting nerfed, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, I don't see, you know, the Dagon's strong because it has six weapons. Um, but I don't know. I haven't seen much about the Dagon itself getting nerfed. So, so yeah, I think with the Ocho getting nerfed um, and maybe with the Ophion getting nerfed, we're going to see even more and more people running the Curie, which is a telltale sign for getting a nerf in Pixonic data collection. We're going to call that. Right, let's jump into that game. Okay, so here we go. We got ourselves a beacon rush on Valley. And we're going to run the start with the Curie first. Um, I'll, I'll spill the beans right here, guys. The Curie is the only robot I end up running here. Um, so we're going to grab this beacon. That guy's hitting me, but he's doing like, I don't know, he's doing a little bit of damage, but it's not a whole lot. Nothing that I can't. Uh, heal up, repair pretty quickly. So we're going to go down the center here. Uh, that, that guy over there. If someone dropped a turret, a uh, Mars turret, that's that guy over there. In comes a guy with, I guess those are Huangjis. Um, I guess it's not a terrible choice, but just not a great choice. Um, if you're going to play from, you know, 800 meters away, it's probably a good idea. And I don't really feel like the Curie is a good platform for those, but um, yeah. So, oops, I'm uh, going the wrong way. Kind of lost my uh, 
lost my bearings on where the beacon was. Uh, so we took care of those two guys. Here comes a Typhon. Uh, let's see if we can take care of this Typhon. Uh, someone else just spawned in up there. Looks like a Demeter. So we took care of that guy. Took care of that Demeter. Uh, he didn't even use his shield. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Maybe he was felt pressured or rushed, and uh, I got a godlike on whatever that was over there. In comes a Fenrir. Um, drop our turrets. Uh, and you know these guys are doing. You can see that they're doing a lot of damage if you watch my health, but. I'm going to Beyond Godlike. Just got my mothership. In comes a Harpy. Harpy, I don't think, stands a chance, especially on the ground. Living Legend. Uh, there's an Erebus there. Uh, with, I guess, the Huanji lasers. Uh, and now a Mars. We're going to take out that Mars, I think. Let's see. Yes. Uh, can we get... Yes. So two more Living Legends. Uh, in comes an Arthur. Oh, there's a Loki. Let's not lose the beacon. I don't know what happened to that guy. Uh, he just destroyed. I don't know why the guy just quit. He just quit. Um, I can't even shoot him. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, oh, hit that like and subscribe, guys. Let's. Uh, can we take out the Arthur? Can we take out the Arthur? We did. We took out the Arthur. A uh, living legend on something. An Emugi, maybe. Um, teammates coming in with his Reaper Crisis, a uh, living legend on I don't know what it was. Um, the Ophions are hitting me from up above. Can we get living legend on the first Ophion? Can we get the second Ophion? Ah, I only got the assist. All right, well, good on the other guy. Someone else got some, some, a kill. Uh, this is a Indra, I guess. Uh, interesting weapon choice. In comes an Ocho. Uh, I'm focused on the Indra, though. Let's see here. Uh, I guess my uh, teammate got the Ocho anyway, so I didn't need to worry too much about it. Let's go down here. And, uh, yeah, so uh, we took care of that guy. I don't have Shield Breaker. My teammate might, though. Uh, so let's just kind of go over here. Let's just uh, stay behind this thing. Stay behind this thing. He's going to land. Let's see. Can we finish him off? Uh, can we finish him off? Oh, very good. Base shift. Oh, I only got the assist on that, though. Um, another Loki. Okay. Here comes a uh, Rook. Uh, he went that way. So, I don't know why. Why isn't he going to go get a beacon? Uh, instead of attacking that luchador, he could have gone for center. He could have gone for home. Uh, maybe he felt, I got to get some damage in. I don't know. I guess that that's probably the uh, probably the reason. I don't know, guys. So, what do you think? Um, I think the other team weren't super high-level champions. I did not run through the list. But still, regardless, um, I think you're going to see more and more curies out there on the battlefield. The Subduer build is a very good build. Um, and the Subduers are great anyways. Put them on a Lynx, they're great. Put them on a, on a Seraph, they're great. So, uh, and I think the combination of the tankiness with the uh, teleporting armor in on the Curie just make it super uber crazy. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Let me know what you think in the comments. Be nice to one another out there in the real world, and I will catch up with you guys later. Bye for now.